Symbio controls now have variable frequency drives installed in them coming from the factory. So I've been asked to do a video on wiring these and configuring it. So it's going to be a very brief video. I recommend that you look at the other videos I put together for normal Symbio constant volume units and reference that for a lot of the wiring and information. So the first thing you'll notice is you got this keypad right here um, to control the VFD. Uh, we'll do the wiring here real quick. So wiring is not that much different from a constant volume. You still have your power wire, common wire coming in here. You can see the jumper that I have right here going down to J10, just like the constant volume. You have your G signal landing right there for your blower. Your twisted shielded pair going to the outdoor unit for your IMC, which you know communicates with your options module over here. And then now with the addition of the VFD, this is really the only two wires that you have to install um, extra. And that's going to the J7 plug down there. You can see I've got another bundle of twisted shielded wire. And so that lands on the outdoor unit, which I have over here. And it lands right here on J16. So that is the VFD communicating wire right there. And again, if you look at the other wiring I have, you got your single G terminal right here for your blower. Over here to the right, you got your power and your common that feeds power to the air handler. And then your second bundle of twisted shielded wire that goes back to the IMC. So that J16 is the only additional wire bundle that you have to run for VFD. One other thing I want to show you is on the app, whenever you're in here, a lot of the equipment, and I'm under the settings tab right here, and in uh, configuration, if you hit this system type, you need to change it from constant volume to variable volume or Victor, Victor, Zulu, Tango. Again, what I'm seeing coming from the factory is that it's programmed for constant volume and it will look like this right here coming from the factory. You need to change it to the variable volume for the VFD. Apply that and then go through your settings, double check and make sure everything is configured the way it's supposed to and then you should be able to apply and it should work. So hopefully this will help you out. If you got any questions, shoot them to me.